What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2022 Top Scrum Hobby Baseball just sold out. This is a 12-box case break. Pick Jeans number one. Now, we had to do a team random that sold out. Hobby number one, Jumbo number one and two. So if you have a little character sign at the end of your name, that means you won that from a team random. Pack filler, potentially. Now, here's the uh, hobby case. We're going to open it up. And what I'm most likely going to do is probably do it like that way I did Merlin. I'm going to just rip open six boxes at a time. And then we'll go through the hits. And then we'll open up the next six. I think that's kind of like the best way to go by it. So remember, gear up, guys. We're going to have a long, busy night tonight. Of course, Anthony. I told you guys, I will stay as late as you guys want tonight. Tomorrow is a new day. <laughs> but tonight, whatever the hell you guys want to sell at, I'll break it. I don't care if I'm here until 5 in the morning. But I can't say I'm going to do the same thing tomorrow. I'm being serious, guys. I I'm serious. Tonight is the night that you guys can take advantage of me. Use me and abuse me. I'm serious. If you guys sell more breaks and you guys want to continue to break, this would be the perfect night to do it. Again, I can't promise I'm going to do the same thing tomorrow. Tomorrow I might say, you know what? I'm leaving at 10. Sharp. So you guys only have me for 8 hours. But tonight, like I said, <laughs> you guys <laughs> keep me here as long as you guys want. I'll have a... Oliver dropped me off some coffee and donuts. Best donuts is open in like 24 hours, I think so. So I would love to do some more Merlin. I'd love to do some more Immaculate. No, they're actually not. Oliver, they actually play BYU this weekend, which is actually, I think BYU is ranked like top 12, isn't it, or top 15? If I'm correct, I don't think they have a bye this week, do they? I thought they played BYU. Good way to redeem themselves. Last week they just murdered, I think they played Eastern Washington, of course it was normal. That was probably bound to happen. But all the points they couldn't score against Georgia, they scored it last week. And they scored like 70 plus points. So this BYU should be a good test again. Ain't no Georgia, but if they are ranked top 15, I mean, they're not a bad, bad program right now. Yeah, if I stay till like 2 or 3 in the morning breaking anything, uh, almost likely go home and just knock out. I mean, if I can, I'll take some melatonin, but fuck. Like, if that happens, I probably won't wake up until like 1. I'll literally just get up, shower, and again probably, because I always have to shower at night, just to wake up again. Sometimes I shower twice a day. And then um, <laughs> just get straight to work, <laughs> which I've, happened, I've, I've done that a lot. 
It's just to me, like, when I get home with the schedule, like, even if I get home at midnight, like, midnight to me is like me getting home at 6 when I get out at 5 in the afternoon, you know? So I kind of just, like, my body just wants to stay up till like, 3 in the morning. So sometimes I don't really even go to bed till 3. You know? And then, like, I'll wake up, like, at 11, 12. You know, like, half the day's already gone. <laughs> I wish I could just go home and just go to sleep, but I just can't. My body won't let me. No, I'll still show up at 2 tomorrow. I knew that this would be a very busy weekend, so I was definitely preparing for this. But, yeah, I can't say I don't know if I'll break 12 hours again tomorrow, but... No, I'll still do 2 to 11, if anything. Give you guys 9 hours. But, yeah. I think they don't have to start work till 2 or 3 in the afternoon, so me staying up to 3 a.m. is not the worst thing, but, you know, it's like, it's not good for you, but, yeah, you just can't help it sometimes. Because I'm the same way, dude, like, I'd be, like, a whole day of breaking, and I'll get home, and I'll watch other people break on Instagram. <laughs> you know, it's just like, I'm just too addicted to this. I don't buy as often as I used to with other people, but I don't mind just watching some live streams at the end of the night, especially for those late night breakers on Instagram. That's right, Carl. I'm going to be giving away some money soon. I'm just going to randomly just drop it. I actually want to time myself, though. I mean, I'm at seven minutes right now. I wonder how long this is going to take me. I feel like it takes me about like two minutes to rip each box. So I figured it'll probably take me no more than five to go through the box, so around seven minutes a box. So I actually might be able to get this done in under an hour. We'll see. If I can get Hobby done around an hour, then Jumbo will be much quicker. I know, I try to I'm trying to be faster, Carl, you know. People always just tell me I'm such a slow ripper. We have been talking about doing a, like extended hours. I mean, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but we kind of stayed, we kind of been staying a little late night. You know, I mean, I feel like Joe also too lately too has been staying past eleven if, if, if it's busy. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think we would, but we have talked about possibilities of extending hours more like throughout the day. I feel like there's like a day market that we can kind of hit. You know, especially some people that are in the East Coast. You know that. Whoa. You guys see that? It's a red. Whoa, Kellenix backwards. What the hell's going on here? But yeah, you know, like, uh, I think the day market is something we could tap into. That's why still on Wednesdays, I like to come in early if there's a release day. Kind of get the day started early. Oh, Carl, I, I honestly think I already do, man. Uh, especially with this hand. In fact, the way I grip the packs... My hands sometimes get really sore, dude, and like, sometimes I feel like they'd be twitching and <laughs> I'm pretty sure I will have it if I don't have it already. I'll have to send a bill to Jassy's disability. Yeah, for the East Coasters, I mean, if you're on the West Coast, you love our time frame. East Coasters probably don't love it too much, but, you know, there's people, man, ripping until, like, 2 a.m. Eastern or 2 a.m. Uh, Pacific, and, like, it's, like, 5 a.m., and there's people awake. It's, like, crazy.
some Bengay and, and ibuprofen. And all right, we do have some ibuprofen here. I mean, you know, I just always think of it like, you know, I'm lucky to have a job like this. You know, obviously, I really appreciate all the business you guys give, and I love what I do. I love being around sports. So, you know, a lot of people obviously have some very, you know, physically challenging jobs, and they do it for a living. You know, I figured, you know, carpal tunnel could be one of the one of the things I endure physically. <laughs> you know, but other than that, I mean, I don't know if I can be like Joe and just stand all day. I'd have to I'd have to give it a shot though. I mean, he does have like this little standing mat here, but this table is too small for me. Like for him, it's like a perfect height. And not to say just because he's short, but like it's like perfect for him. Where I feel like if I'm standing, dude, I have to bend down so much. Like there's just no way I can stand. I'd have to I'd have to get the table much higher to even consider it. But Joe's perfected the breaking and standing. My dad worked in construction for, you know, over 30 plus years, man. That dude, that dude worked really hard. You know, having, working six plus days a week, even seven sometimes. So I'm up for 30 plus years, so. Same thing with my mom, you know, she just recently retired a few years back before the pandemic. She was a metal carrier for like 30 plus years, you know, so. It's like. I definitely don't take this like lightly. I mean, I have in the past, Joe, and honestly, like I said, I've been with Jaspers for almost as long as Joe has, but there was actually a little time, especially some people know this, but there was a little time where um, I kind of left for like a year or two, um, and that was just because of, you know, obviously, I think most of the older crowd knows this is like, you know, Jaspers at one point was part of like, kind of like a little bit of a partnership with another company, but, uh, you know, they just didn't really treat us well, and unfortunately, I had to get let go. For like, a, for like a year or two. I think it was like two years actually. And uh, I thankfully at the time did have a little crowd following. So I actually did have my own breaking operation for about two years. And you know that, it was tough. You know, I mean, I, I made just enough to pay for my bills, honestly. Like just enough. And I ran it for about like, you know, almost two years. I was breaking out of my sister's garage, you know. I was doing the sorting, I was doing the shipping, I was doing the customer service, I was pricing, I was posting, you know, I was doing it all. I even had my wife help for a little bit at some point, you know, but then, you know, when Jaspies was able to be on their own and, you know, get back up on their feet, I mean, kind of, kind of where, like, my business was kind of going down because all I did was hockey at the time. And like I said, being in this business is kind of tough. You kind of have to have those relationships and kind of be an established breaking operation, especially now, you know, with allocations and all that. So I, I just don't think it was really the right time for me. I, I just couldn't do it myself, you know? And thank you, like I said, once, when I had first left, it wasn't really like a hate thing, you know, it was nothing personal. It's just, you know, I had to, I had to get a logo for a little bit until they can figure out what they were doing. And yeah, I mean, I remember literally like when I was contemplating like, man, I think I'm just gonna have to like do something else. Like I, I you know, I got a call and, and then, uh, yeah, they were just like, hey, we're all we're all on our own now, you know. The time has come, like we want to have you back, and you know, we talked and about how it would work and la la la, and yeah, it, it just it worked out perfectly, and I was back on and been here ever since then. You know, so I kind of learned a lot myself just doing it myself too. You know, I just learned how to you know price and do all that stuff. So when it comes to like Nick, you know, if Nick's ever not available, I can I can do you know the most of the stuff, you know, without him being here, just in case, you know, it's learned a lot. All right, you guys, here we go. But it was fun though. It was a fun experience though. Wander Franco. More Wander Franco there. We have a Nico Horner for the Chicago Cubs. 
Yeah, no, so, I mean, I just didn't, for me, I just didn't have the market. I think I was I was okay in the right time. I just didn't have the market for other sports. Randy Rosarena, I was just more hockey, and I think it was harder for me to get hockey without having a card shop with Upper Deck, and so I had to buy a lot of secondary market stuff. So if I had had an established market with, like, other sports, I think I would have been okay. I think I actually would have been okay, but, you know. At the end of the day, I think it all worked out the way it was supposed to. I never really wanted to leave Jaspies at the time, but, you know, it just had to happen. So, the fact that I found my way back was just really cool. Matt Verlang. That's for the Phillies going to Ben. And I'm grateful for them, too. They've treated me really well, and like I said, I always... I consider them, you know, like kind of, kind of like a family, because we've all known each other for so long, so... You know? We all get treated kind of like family here, so it's fun. Adam Frazier. And that is a little bit of a teaser for the Mariners, but Alex got the Mariners. Bo Bichette, John Lester, Jose Abreu, Jonathan India, Carlos Correa, well, the cards are a little stuck already. Jacob DeGrom. Muncy. Brian De La Cruz, Lars Nutbar rookie, Tyler Stevenson, Kyle Lewis, oh Kyle Lewis, Mackenzie Gore, that's a purple like speckle, to two ninety nine for the Padres. Matthew got the Padres in a team random. Tuve. Nice pulls. Has Pujols hit any home runs recently? What numbers he got now? Out of 250, that's Dodgers edition. Jared Duran. Yeah, man, it, it's all good, buddy. Like I said, yeah, I mean, you know, I think, you know, for you now, obviously, hey, I think it's working out good. I know it's a tougher road, obviously, on what you were doing, you know. You know, and, you know, the nursing thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's tough. But I think you're going to get there, man. And, yeah, I mean, it's, there's nothing wrong with doing a little bit of side business, right? Nothing wrong with that. He went yard tonight? Oh, my God, 698? He's going to do it, right? He has to do it. He has to hit 700 now. I mean, I think when he was like a 690, I didn't think it was possible this year just because I thought, oh, you know, but he's been playing really good. Kyle Muller. I'm getting nervous. Did I skip an autograph already again? I feel like I want to like say I skip an autograph. Did I skip an auto? We just cheated one. There it is. Whew. I did catch it this time in the sense that I skipped it. I know I felt like I skipped it. All right. And also, you know, it's crazy too. This ink is like a little faded. All right. Sorry about that. Philip Pirates owner, Travis. I'm sorry, buddy. Well... That's my thing, man. I, I feel like if you... I mean, come on. Think about it. If I was all over pools, even though I already said this is my farewell tour, I stopped at 699. How the hell am I not going to come back another year and just hit that one last home run? You know? Even if it was three home runs. 
As I think we were talking about it last week with like Alex Rodriguez. Like, you know, he stopped at like what six ninety four or something like that. It's like, bro, you know, like six away. Why can't you just come back? I mean, Pools is a different situation. I think people would want to have him on their team just to do it, but Kyle Tucker to one ninety nine, but. I think he's going to get it at this point, honestly. If he's just two away, there's got to be, what, at least like another 15 games in the, in the season left. So, I think, I think, I think he'll get it. Heart of the City, Boston. Little Jake Berger. Woo! How about a little gold? Jackson Reitz. But see, that, yeah, I guess that's the thing. A-Rod, obviously, with his, with his, uh, PD, uh, PA, uh, PEDs and all that stuff. I don't think people would have wanted him to have it like that, but still, I'm just saying, you know. And Lorenzo Kane relic. Chase McCormick is the auto. Shane Bass. Siri. If he ended up with something like that, then would he be considered the greatest player of all time? My question is, though, can Judge literally ask for anything and the Yankees have to do it at this point? Right? I think what Judge... I mean, for, for Judge, like, you know, the what he's doing this year, like, kind of banking on himself in a sense. Like, now, whatever he was worth beginning of the season is nowhere near what he's worth now, Right? Franco insert, Byron Buxton. John Means. Sammy Long. I don't know why I feel this, man, but I feel like Otani's going to get traded. <laughs> Him and Trout. I don't know. I feel like the Angels are going to blow that stuff up. Jared Kalanick to 350. Alright, this is where the red was at. And Matt Verlang red. Philly's going to Ben Smith. Five out of five. Nice red. Blue bomb. There's a wander base. Trouty. Burger. Yeah, I would too, honestly. <laughs> Marcos. I 
like to see Trout go back home and like go to Philly. I don't know if he ever has a regret of that, but he had a chance to go there too. But I don't blame him though, you know. I mean, obviously he thought maybe, hey, you know, I believe in this club, you know, especially now, you know, we've got Otani, he'll be back. And especially what Otani's doing, you would figure that, like, you know, it would be enough. But, I mean, obviously it is it is a group effort, a whole team effort. And even having Otani and Trout out there, you know, still not enough. And and that's that Trout missed a lot of time. I mean, look, look at the stuff that he's doing. You know, he's hitting 30-plus home runs in, like, 100-plus games only, you know. It's like, damn. Zach Thompson. Moogie. We got Matt Olson. To two ninety nine. Connor Wong. Lou Bob, oh, that was backwards. Do they have short prints on this too? You gotta kind of see that just to be safe. And Alfonso Rivas. It's the second auto. First box where both autos were actually just the base. Last box here, and then we'll go with the next one. Another Kirsch. John Hastley. Judge. I'm actually not sure, sure what was pulled in the shop, to be honest, Joe. And Jose Ramirez. There you go. That's like a negative. And I think that's just a negative of his base. I think we just passed his base right here, didn't we? I feel like we just did. No? I thought we just did. No, maybe not. And Joey Wendell. That is for the Marlins to 150. Brian Marsh. Max Freed.
All right, guys. First six off the board. Let's go with the next six. Um, well, I mean, we're here on the West Coast. We're in Hermosa Beach, so we're in Southern California, so we're in the L.A. area. So a lot of customers in the shop always look for, you know, Lakers, Dodgers, you know, Angels. Kind of just more of the L.A. teams, but, I mean, our shop obviously carries everything. All sports, basically. Pokemon, too, as well. Magic. But today, a lot of people are buying Topps Chrome, of course, for the new release. I think it varies everywhere on there where you're located. We tend to have a lot more Dodger stuff out and Lakers, etc. Yeah, I think the three main sports. We have a lot of hockey fans in here too, but we don't really have too many hockey singles here. 
But hockey boxes do sell well here. We live in the backyard. Well, we're here in the backyard of a lot of professional hockey players. Just athletes in general. A lot of them live here in Hermosa Beach, Manhattan Beach. But yeah, I mean, I think I think it's all, all the major sports. Obviously, I think right now football is a little bit more hotter than most sports. Obviously, Topps Chrome today is hot, but right now as a market, I think, football, just because it's back. You know, week to week, the market's going to change drastically for players that perform really well. You know, especially for people that don't perform well, their stuff will go down. But now that football's back, I think that's probably like the biggest market uh, right now. Baseball, I think, once it gets into the postseason, you'll see those X amount of teams with bigger rookies potentially go up. And then even more, maybe the older veteran rookie stuff, like, you know. Maybe the Dodgers, you know, Freddie Freeman, Mookie Betts market goes up a little bit because they're in the playoffs. And then, you know, same thing for everybody else. I think Julio, obviously, I think will be one of the bigger rookies that's in the playoffs if the Mariners do end up making it still. And I think they are still in the playoff wild card uh, little bubble. But, I mean, his market can go up even more than anybody else's if he continues to do what he does and, and does it in the playoffs, you know? It all just depends on the time. Of the year in the in the sport. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, nice. Awesome, man. So it looks like also, too, guys, I'll be adding that Leaf uh, Metal Soccer. That sold out. Thank you to Nick Stover. He got the last two, I believe. There's just a lot of fun. Nick, if you're watching, I hope you're up for a late one. Unless you just want to watch the replay. I probably won't be doing that till after, like, 1 a.m. Yeah, that's a replay. I'll wake up in the morning. <laughs> that's the beauty, right? That's the beauty. Watch the replay like if you were here watching it live, man. <laughs> Thank you, man. Good luck. I figure I'm gonna do good time on this though. If if I'm if I'm gonna take about an hour and doing hobby, I think jumbo should be faster. So it might be a little bit earlier than one, but you know I'm also just factoring that I have to print out labels and you know put away the break and probably stretch for a few minutes in between breaks just because you sit down for like a whole hour straight. But I think it'll about take me about an hour. Right now I'm at the 39 minute mark. I'll finish these last two boxes by the 45 minute mark, go through the last six boxes in like 15 minutes, so should take me about an hour, I think. Hey man, I, that is, I've seen that happen, Ripper, and it's true. Sometimes you do do better. I think because, like, you want to hit so bad, right, you know? And it's just kind of a little bit like a, like a little joke, you know? So then you just don't watch, and then all of a sudden you're surprised. Like, wow, I didn't do that bad. Not that bad. Well, Pizzle, this is our first case of the day. I have hit a short print in a one-box break, but it was a Vladdy Jr. short print. Not a rookie. So, we did the first six boxes. This is the next six. So, we'll find out. 
But we did have a customer earlier say that uh, people in some forums are saying that uh, tops have may have only put short prints in X whatever products and that it's not in Hobby or Jumbo. But I feel like that is a little fishy. Like if they messed up on that, uh, I don't know. I don't understand. So what you're saying they're only gonna be in blasters and megas? I don't know, man. Like that's just kind of hard to believe. But I hope not though. I just hope they're just so rare. <laughs> Peoples, what's going on, man? There's been another customer. I don't know if you guys are related. <laughs> There's another customer of people shot. It just, just always reminds me of you, man. You guys have the same last name. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. There's... I don't know. It does sound a little concerning. Did you, Brian? Yeah. <laughs> I, I I personally have never seen another customer's name Peoples like yours. Like, last name at least. That's why I was just like, oh man. I even told that to Joe the other day. He's like, I don't think so. I was like, I know, but it's like, man. I, I haven't seen that name since Brian. Yeah. Should do like a what is that a a DNA test? Kind of find out your your family like lineage and what is it twenty three and me or something? Did you guys ever watch that documentary? I think it was on Netflix about how that how those um uh, all those siblings from like a. Like donors ended up being from like the same doctor because of the 23 and me. Some wild ish right there, man. Alright. 23 and me is probably breaking so many broken so many families though, probably. Alright, here we go. We got Gabriel Urias. At 250. Gavin Sheets, Josh Loud at 350. That's a rookie there. Mike Mustakas. to the top right. Jose Siri. Wonder Franco base. All right, next box. Trout. 
Connor Wong. Refractor autograph to four ninety nine. Showtime. Got a redemption. Aaron Ashby, seventy-five. Anything on the website, buddy? I won't be doing any more other breaks, but top scrum for the next three hours, but. Yeah, I told people today that uh, I'll stay super late for them. So if you guys sell them more breaks, keep me here late. Sell them out. I think Immaculate Baseball is down to like four. If you want to check out the website, man, jaspiescasebreaks.com. I think if, if we're going to break anything else tonight, it's going to be that or Merlin Soccer. Or both. I don't. I, I really doubt any Topps Chrome sells out unless someone goes really ham. But that's down to uh, four left. All right, let's check out this autograph here, guys. Good luck. Veteran autograph purple. Speckle refractor. Of. Tyler Stevenson. So Tyler Stevenson could not sign his autographs, guys. So he's the redemption, it looks like. Brady with the Reds. Well, I think anything plus two years is a veteran. <laughs> Rodolfo Castro. Do it, Pizzle. Do it. It's 99. Turn it around. And a Goldie. Negative. And a Kevin Smith gold wave. Unless that's just how golds are now. That is uh, Blue Jays going to Carl. Yeah, I kind of like the just solid color myself, too, but. I mean, I guess it is what it is. Spencer Strider to four ninety nine.
Joe Ryan at 399. Twins at 399. Wander Franco right there. Oh yeah, the Strider. That's for the Braves, Matthew. And Trey Mancini for Baltimore. That's going to Carl. Turn it around. Put Jonathan India, a little rookie cup right there as well. To 199. Sure, sir. I don't know if that's another red or that's just something I'm seeing, but we'll find out right now. We already pulled one red so far. It looks like a red, but I don't think it is, though. Could be wrong. Okay, it's just a pink. Trent Grisham, it looked like a red. Flipped around at least. Another Wander Franco right there. De La Cruz. Connor Siebold. Hunjin Ryu. Manny Rivera. Kansas City to 150. All right, last box here, guys. Jose Ramirez. Oh, well, not in this product, at least. Jackson Freitz.
Alrighty, guys. Well, that's it. 55 minutes for a hobby. Not too shabby. So, I'll do a quick little recap. I want to say that's everything there, right? So, we got a Joey Wendell. It's a negative there. John Hastley for KC Auto. Thompson, Alfonso Rivas, Sammy Long, uh, Diplin. We did have a red, Matt Rare Lang to five. We had a relic, Lorenzo Kane. McCormick, Kyle Tucker, Contreras, Mackenzie Gore, Vera Lang Auto, Frazier, Castro, Goldschmidt, negative. We got a Kevin Smith Gold, Strider, Mancini, Stevenson, Wong, um, Arias, Siri, Manny Rivera, Seabold, Luke Williams, Jackson Reitz, and that's one, two, three. Yep, 24 autos. And there you go, guys. That was the break. That was Pikachu number one hobby. Coming up next, Jumbo number one.